Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is color blindness, a sex linked trait appears more often in you have to choose the correct answer for answers today and in order to explain uh, mode of inheritance of this uh, sex linked trait uh, and is in specific this is X link uh, genetic disorder because sex um, chromosomes can be of the two kinds it can be with the X chromosome or Y chromosome. So if we find uh, mutated genes on either uh, X chromosome or Y chromosome, which we call sex chromosomes, we call this sex link trait. And color blindness is X uh, link trait. So I would use red color to designate chromosome uh, with defective allele that code uh, for the specific protein. Uh, that participates in a normal biological pathway which results in a normal color vision but if this uh, protein would be mutated uh, also this leads to genetic disorder and people who uh, have this uh, allele with, uh, can be carriers or can be affected so I would use red color to designate a normal X chromosome. And now let's uh, find different variants how this genetic disorder can be inherited. So uh, the first model would be when uh, female and female's genotype would be two um, X chromosomes and uh, male genotype would be uh, Y chromosome and X chromosome. So let's imagine that male has defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. So when we build a Punnett square, we can predict all the possible genotypes and phenotypes in their progeny. So here we would have normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side and defective X chromosome inherited from the father side, normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side, and defective X chromosome inherited from the father side. And we would have normal X and Y chromosome here, and normal X and Y chromosome here. According to this model, uh, when father would be colorblind, because he has only one uh, defective X chromosome and doesn't have another X chromosome with normal allele on it. So father would be colorblind, mother would be genotypically and phenotypically normal and 100% of their progeny also would be uh, normal. Those uh, females has defective X allele uh, because this is recessive genetic disorder one normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side would be enough uh, in order to have normal vision and 100% of the males also would have normal color vision because they inherited X chromosome from the mother side. So let's now uh, choose different model where mother would be a carrier of this genetic disorder so would uh, have one defective X chromosome, another X chromosome would be normal, and father would be normal for, for this trait. So once again we build a Punnett square, and this time we would see different picture. So normal X chromosome inherited from the father side, defective chromosome inherited from the mother side, defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side, and normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side, two normal X chromosomes here, and normal X chromosome and normal Y chromosome here. So as you see, according to this Punnett square, this person would be affected with this genetic disorder uh, this person would be a carrier and this two would be phenotypically and genotypically normal. So XY means that this is male. So as you see, um, we so far 
uh, see that uh, in males this would be more frequent than in females, but we also may have a different picture. For example, what if mother would be would have two defective X chromosomes? So would have defective one X chromosome and defective second X chromosome. And the father would have normal genotype. So once again we build the Punnett square and this time let's see what we are going to get. So defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side, normal X chromosome inherited from the father side, defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side, normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side, defective chromosome from the mother side, normal X chromosome inherited from the father side, and defective X chromosome here, and normal Y chromosome here. Once again, we see that all male progeny, 100% of the male progeny, would have um, problems with color vision, so would be colorblind, but 100% of the females would be carers, so would have normal vision. So, once again, we see that uh, it is prevailing trait um, phenotypically in males. But we also may have a different model where uh, father and mother may have uh, one defective X chromosome. So, father genotype would be uh, defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. So, that means father would uh, have this genetic disorder, would be colorblind, and mother would be a carrier. So, we didn't have this uh, model yet. So let's build a Punnett square and would we'll see what different genotypes and phenotypes we can get here. So X, X2 defective X chromosomes here and defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome here, uh, normal X chromosome and defective X chromosome here and normal X and Y chromosome here. And as you see, in this case, uh, one quarter of the uh, children or 50% of the females would be affected, 50% of the males also would be affected, and 50% uh, of females would be carriers, and 50% of the males uh, would be phenotypically and genotypically normal. So, in this model, both males and females would express this genetic uh, disorder uh, in equal numbers. And the last model would be when a male uh, would uh, have defective X chromosome, normal Y chromosome, and female uh, would have two defective X chromosomes. So that means that uh, in this family, uh, female would be colorblind and male also would be colorblind. But what we can expect in their progeny, so two defective X chromosomes here, two defective X chromosomes here, and um, defective X chromosome here, normal Y chromosome, and defective X chromosome here and normal Y chromosome. In this model, 100% of the children would be affected with this genetic disorder. So, as you see, if we now would take a look, so equal numbers here, equals numbers here. In this uh, Punnett square, we see that only males would be affected, and in this Punnett square, we can see that uh, only males would be affected, and in this Punnett square, uh, we see that none of the children would show this uh, genetic disorder phenotypically. So, our answer would be, as you see, that males uh, would express this genetic disorder phenotypically more often than females. 
So this is going to be our answer, answer A. And my last remark would be that answer C, dogs and cats, we actually can compare them with colorblind people, uh, both uh, dogs and cats, C colors, but in much uh, smaller range of colors, we can compare them with colorblind people. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.